The following presentation is brought to you by the Realm Network. Mrs. Part and this is Big Vito. He's the Mr. Part. And we are going to um, have a, a debate of sorts. What's Already. Asking about buying followers. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Like I've heard about it, but I don't know how you would even do that. Yeah. I definitely need to. I'm not going to spend any money to buy I'm people to buy. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This is a hobby. Come on. Um, okay, so here's the deal. Um, this show it will be airing on the Russo brand. It's also airing on the Big Vito brand networks. Um, what we do here is Vito takes a side and I take a side and we debate that side. Now, sometimes it's a decision we actually have to make in our real lives. And sometimes it's just an opinion we feel like having an argument about. Now, last time here, right here on the show, we had a debate about Vito loving Disney before... I came along and he denied it. He said he didn't, but I had picture proof. And guys, the fact of the matter is Vito lost again. Bunch of haters. You out lost there. again. But Vito, you, know, you didn't have any proof. You just kept saying, here's what dug your hole. Here's what, here's what dug your hole. When you go, that never happened. Do you have proof? And then I would show the picture and I would go, Yes. And then you were screwed. But even if there is proof. proof, it doesn't mean that I like the thing as I'm forced into the situation. You took a picture from when I was six months old. No, but I took a picture from August of you hugging Minnie Mouse. And I said, you hugged Minnie Mouse. And you said, I did not. Do you have a picture? And I said, yes. And then I showed the picture and you you lied. You got caught. It was you. There's nobody that looks like you. You're the only big veto that Stop I it. Know. Get some help. I'm sorry, Michael Jordan. You, you got nabbed. So this week's topic. Guys, this week's topic was suggested by a few people. We are taking suggestions for topics. Make sure you tweet us here at the Big Vito Brand or check out Facebook. <laughs> this is your least of your topics. Vito, what is the cost of Disney tickets pre Noel? <laughs> really? <laughs> pre Noel tickets. You have been tickets. shunned. Shunned. <laughs> you shunned like oh my this. god. Pre Noel tickets. I don't know. He, he, he probably didn't pay for a ticket. He probably made the girl pay for it or something. I know him. My bitches paid for them shit. And now we got the what do we what do we have now? The um, annual pass. So we annually annually pass. Hello for all of you who's joining us. We're about to say the debate topic. Here we go, Vito. This debate was suggested by several people. We thank you for participating. On this side here is date night, the best date night. I am going to defend Netflix and chill. And Vito is going to defend going out. Fuck yeah. Of course, you know what side. That's why I picked it for you. I knew you would be fine to debate that. Because you know I will pick Netflix and chill because what do I do? You sit home all the time and watch the fucking computer like jackass. I was just watching um, It, the second part of It. All right, but when Big V goes out, right, we're at the country club. We're at the 11, rooftop in it, buffets, sushi, you know, going out, Champions Gate, la-di-da. I mean, who doesn't want to do this shit? But, see, going out is overrated. I agree. I would rather have it. I who is this person? There are people on our... our, our I can't believe I just opened my mouth that already we have already haters. Already. Haters. Do you have a fever? Yes, yes, actually, you do. <laughs> you do have a fever. Vito, listen. You, um, why is going out better than staying in? Because here's my argument for staying in. Let me present this to you. Holy Christ. Okay, God. but this is part of the show. Don't holy Christ me at. All right, so if I went to a hookup with a dude or like whatever, what what I would think would be better to get to know somebody and have the opportunity to actually hook up is come on over for dinner. I'll either cook for you or we'll order out, put a little movie on, get a little romantic. Hello. Get a little romantic. 
and then, you know, kind of make my move. You know what I'm saying? Like that gives me the opportunity. I'm in a place with a kitchen, a built-in movie, and a hotel room all in one. What is better than a Netflix and chill? Really? Going yeah. out to dinner, getting romantic, pulling over, get a little car action in a parking lot. Who does that? Big V. But wouldn't you rather get to... No. <laughs> but why? But why? No. Wouldn't you rather get to know no. somebody? No. I'm getting to know you. Going you... out is the best way to get to know somebody. Thank you. See how you treat customers and other folks. I would rather have a one-on-one... -on -one a one on one engagement with There's somebody. There's nothing wrong with having a and one on one in a car. That's or not a truck, very. Back of a Hummer. You have a fever. Yeah, I have a fever. I know everything I'm saying is wrong. No, while jumping right into the hot part. Exactly. I'm right on the hot part. I didn't say you were wrong. This is a debate show. Why do you get so sensitive? Is this because you had the dream last night? Is that People, I want to tell about? you about a dream I had, all right? Even though I'm looking very handsome and dapper in my robe, my face is very slim. You know, I'm my looking face good. Is slim. You know what I mean? I'm wearing a Mickey Mouse hoodie. Big fucking deal. <gasps> well, you love Disney so fucking much. All right, so <laughs> here it is. I go to bed, you know, and I have this dream. Fever it's, dream. That's what it was. It, it's, it's a fever hard dream. dream, right? So I'm having this dream where. We're out in the city, and I'm taking my wife out to lunch, and all of a sudden she disappears. So she disappears, and I'm going outside, coming inside, I'm looking all around, and then I see her with some guy, right? And I'm like, you fucking cheating on me, you son of a bitch, right? I got fucking mad. But the kicker was not her cheating on me. But her fucking actually getting up and walking without the walker, I said, and you could fucking walk too. Motherfucker. Well, <laughs> talk about getting hot. I got fucking mad. Hot, mad. Go ahead, say it. Go ahead. People are probably laughing right now. Well, he says that as a bouncer, he saw women hit on the doorman when they were on the dates out. But for you, this was a dream. I didn't really hit right. on anybody else. So, like, and I don't walk. I haven't so walked in five up, years. So I got up. Without a walker. So I got up, and I'm going to make myself my morning protein shake. And I find some fucking Chex Mix on the floor. You know what I'm saying? I didn't eat no Chex Mix. We I don't even have any Hold Chex Mix. On. That's just, just the point of it, okay? So I'm like, I have this dream. She's with some dude. She could walk. And then there's fucking Chuck's mix in the house on the floor in my crib that I fucking paid for so, in my fucking golf course community. So I get up in the morning. Oh, hi, honey. How are you? See, you had Chuck's mix. We don't have any Chuck's mix. And what the fuck was on the floor? Who eats Chuck's mix that comes to the house? I have no idea. House? Who eats Chuck's mix that it does, comes But to that house? person wasn't here. Lexi eats Chuck's mix. And she's a toddler. And she gets Chuck's but mix. But I clean the, the house and I clean the floors and this place is spotless. Vito. This was a dream. He's been treating me like this all day long. So, He's been nasty to me all day. So, I put a call into my lawyer. He really called this And I friggin' talked to him about it. It's on record. It sounds like you're losing it. <laughs> With the Alice and Ralph Cram and Twitter and Twitch. <laughs> Here's the thing. Over a dream, he called his lawyer today, who, P.S., laughed at him because he thought he was losing his Laughed at him because he needed mind. to laugh because he's been going through some shit. I said, I got a story for you. Bill, I got a story for you. And then what happened? He goes, Peter, that's some fucking dream. I said, yeah. You on the... <laughs> You on retainer, motherfucker. Well, <laughs> well, Bill thought he was in the dream because he was like, was it you and me out to lunch? Like, he wanted to be in the dream. I'm like, you don't want to be in this dream, Bill, because I've been, uh, and I made dinner today, cleaned up, I did laundry, and I'm still. Well, you did your own laundry, you didn't do my laundry. I didn't specify who's okay, laundry so okay, I did. Okay. I just said I did laundry. Jeez. You did your laundry. Did the law then, lawyer charge you for the brief call? Oh, no. retainer. Hold on <laughs> yes, a second. He's a friend, okay. so. My, I have a million dollar lawyer, and I don't have to pay for a retainer, so we're good. And anything I do, I'm good in life. 
Can you imagine calling your attorney to tell him that you had a dream that your wife cheated on you and that you wanted to retain his services what, no, over a dream? No, it wasn't that she cheated. It was that she could walk without the walker. She'd be playing me. I only walk Yeah, now that. all of a sudden she's got a close by. But the rest of I the time, that, sh- that shit was 19 miles away. In your dream. Look, you live with me. You're with me like 24-7. And when you're not with me, you're on the phone. Have you once seen me actually walk without a walking device in yes, five years? Yes, it was a years? friggin' mess. <laughs> it's not good. The best, the best part of the dream was she gets up, she walks. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need my walker and sat down. But it was oh, a dream. Man. Man. It, was, it was all a dream. It was all a dream. It was all a dream. I don't understand how that's relevant to hating me the entire day. And now you can't even debate on the debate show because you're still upset about a dream. You have to call a lawyer over a dream. Wait till I tell my mother. This is the best debate. And I'm sitting here with a big smile. I look good. Just in case anybody's out. Just in case case anybody's out there and females are looking. You know, divorce proceedings are on the way. Maybe uh, this is a dream too. Noel, do you take CBD oil? I take uh, CBD gummies, gummies. Um, but um, I'm supposed to pinch you to see if you're still dreaming. Are you dreaming? Are you dreaming at all? Are you dreaming? Jesus Christ! Lord, help me with this man. It's hard to even debate this debate because you're so mad that I cheated on you and walked in a dream that you can't even podcast no, properly. You won't. That's what you got me mad. I've been cooking, cleaning, laundry, taking care of you, freaking make sure the house is spotless. When you got out of the hospital with the stroke, sterilizing the place for four fucking months, motherfucker. And still freaking on my hands and knees cleaning this goddamn place. But, but Vidi... You have been with me through about 10 different back procedures. You've seen them drive freaking nails into my back. You saw me and took me to the hospital when I had the stroke. You, you can see people. I have a lot of hair for a reason. People can't really see what that looks like. But you can see what my spine looks like. And it was a dream. It was a dream. Vito. Somebody better, there be, better be some people bet, betting on me and voting my way this time. You can't use your upset because you have a virus in a fever dream to get people to vote for you. What are you, Russia? You can't do these things. Like, you can't you interfere in this election. Hand. You know, ladies, if you're out there and you feel bad for me, both of me, please. Cheating on me again? That's fine. That's fine. I'll get you. <laughs> no, I'm not cheating on you. I can't even see. No, I'm yeah, not but, cheating. What I was going to say is, why do you always want ladies to vote for you? Maybe if you pandered more to the gentleman, you would get a vote or two. Do you notice every week you go, ladies, vote for me. Ladies, but that's not working out with you. It is working out. I'll vote for Vito. In your dreams! <laughs> that was a winner. That was a winner. Vito, you had a fever dream. You have to stop hating on me. Can you debate this topic? Can you debate this topic? Or are you just going to be a rack this whole time? My lawyer is notified. I'm ready. I'm ready for battle. This is worse <laughs> than eight miles. Why did you call your lawyer? Oh, my lawyer. I'm a lawyer on this shit. He really called his lawyer. Like, this I isn't even a joke. Lawyer. He really him. called this lawyer. He texted me back. I got you. Dude. He texted me yeah. too. It's right here. No, he did not. Yes, he did. Look, wait. What does that say? Bill Carnes. What was the rest of the message? <laughs> he knows you're ill. <laughs> glad he took this fever. <laughs> I'm glad everybody's having a good time at mine. You're yeah. having fever dreams, but you're blaming the rest of us for them. Like, what? Why? How would I even meet anybody? I don't even leave the house. You just said I Netflix I and know, chill. Well, I don't even go. I home. know you don't do this and you don't do that. No, but you're thinking. And you don't do this and you don't do that. You are perfect. I never met anybody who was so perfect in my life. I never said I was perfect. How perfect can one person be? I never said I was perfect. And how wrong can one person be that I have all these problems? Vita, nobody said, you know what? I hate when you're sick. 
you should have to go into some kind of holding chamber or a safe room or something. When you are sick, you are the worst. You are the worst. Maybe you so have been telling me all day, oh, you say this, you don't let me do this, you don't let me do that. But it's all because you're mad because of a dream. <laughs> you're mad at me because you have a dream. God forbid I catch you walking in this house without the walker. <laughs> I can't walk. But I can't walk. And then I don't want you to say at the last minute, look, it's a miracle, honey. Fucking bullshit. Bullshit. can't walk. I don't walk. I don't walk. Oh, my God. Somebody said matzo ball soup, but I can't say who said matzo no, ball soup. No, we already soup. had matzo ball soup already this week. He had matzo ball soup, but nothing is helping him. Is he mentally sick? Yes. He's got really? a fever dream. He's having fever dreams. Really? I'm mentally sick now. Do you want to do this debate? Or you, like we're supposed to be doing a here? debate. You didn't know me when I was freaking <laughs> mental. You wouldn't want to know me. I knew him when he was mental and it wasn't a good No, but, No, hold on. If you didn't like the B.I.G.V., what are you doing here now? Big penis. I'm telling the truth. I think you're funny. You're my Disney buddy. Matzo ball soup, Jewish penicillin. We had it from Howie the Helmet. Howie the Helmet, brother. Oh, there's Vito marks. Guys, Vito just does not feel good. He's here with me tonight, not feeling well. We're supposed to be debating Netflix and chill or going out, but he's such a he's such a mess over this fever dream he had where I walked and cheated on him. All right, let's next fix and chill, okay? Let's get to the bottom, okay? You go to some chick's house, she's cooking for you, okay? If everything's going good, she's going to give you some play, right? But if you're the fucking B-I-G-V, what do you do? You don't spend on Chris Root steaks. Take the bitch to Chili's, two for 20. All right, baby, what you got? Pick from the appetite of the men. It's either this or this. Do you this think you're going to have sex? Do you think wait you're a minute. going it's to a, have sex wait a second. two for 20 Do for Chili's? Do you think you are? I have. And even I didn't have Yes, to. Netflix and chill can be ordering in or it can be cooking. Hold on a second. It was a question. I want to ask a question. All right, go ahead. You ask a question. To yeah. me or to them? Just in general. Okay. Does Vita LaGrasa... You said your whole name again. I'm out of the question. Need a goddamn dinner to have sex and chill? Really? Women really? Like, women like food. If you're not going to feed me, I'm not going to fuck you. That's really? The, yeah, bottom line. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Time out. Conference. Oh, don't breathe on mm -hmm. me. You've got the hiv. <laughs> dog at the concession stand. That was good. <laughs> but. There's no but. Netflix and chill is about. Listen. You know what's good about Netflix and chill, Vito? Do you want to know what's good about it? Oh, my okay, God. Okay, say, say you're having a short cash week. I know this never happens to you, but in my previous life, it happened to me all the time. If you're having a short cash week, but you want to hook up, what do you do? Two for 20 at Chili's, you can't even afford that. It's a short cash week. What do you do? If you can't afford two for 20 at the Chill to get some ass, then I mean, you don't deserve any. Not that I had to pay for any meals in my time because ass just came out of friggin' nowhere and just landed in my lap. I'm the B.I.G.V. You paid for TGI Fridays when we first started dating. <laughs> but before I paid for any dinners... What? You're having another fever dream. Oh no. oh no, hold on people. Before I pay for a goddamn dinner, this is a whole different show. Vito! Oh my god, babe. Babe. Now I'm babe. You see All this? Alright, jerk off. Like, I'm calling you something nice. Babe. 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 I think that coming back to somebody's house is a whole other level of intimacy for your date. First off, if I come to your house and it is scummy, disgusting, dirty. Which it never was. I didn't say you. We're talking about the people. Go to the restaurant that's notorious for having roaches. See? No, I don't want to have roaches. No. If you come to somebody's house and you come in 
and you see that the house is clean and you do the bathroom check. I always do the bathroom check because if you have a dirty bathroom, I won't even talk to you. If your bathroom is disgusting, I don't want to do So then you're getting your safety checks in. Okay, the kitchen's clean, the bathroom's clean, the bed is made. That's check one. Check two, is the food good? If somebody's going to cook for you, is it going to be good? Is their local takeout place good? Because I don't want to date you if you have like crappy cheesesteaks and whatever else. It's got to be good. I also need to know what your pizza preference is. Okay, that's definitely a Netflix and chill situation. When we go over to the couch and we're cuddling on the couch, what movie are you going to choose on Netflix? I want to know what movie you're going to choose. If you say you want to watch a TV series, are you going to put on The Office? Are you going to put on The Walking Dead? Are you going to put on the British version of The Office? I need to know these things before we get into any type of physical relationship. One night, Netflix and Shell has now told me if you're clean, what your food preferences are, and what you watch on TV, and I'm going to get laid. Netflix and Shell is the way to go. Do you find any of these things out? At the two for one at Chili's. Oh, oh shit, I never needed no Netflix and chill. I always got my ass. You can't even figure out how to turn on the Netflix. But that's the whole thing, so I had to get my ass. <laughs> you I just proved my point. You just said it. Thank you. No, Vita. I, I just gave like ass office. before Netflix and chill. But it's not, it's not the conversation isn't about ass. It's about Netflix and chill or going out on a date. And apparently, a big Vito and date I is would go out at Chili's. And I would go out. Pick up my date, get some ass, and go home. Vito. Because I'm the B-I-G-V. And he's going to wrap As you can see. And what you do for me. Credit checks, too. No, I don't check anybody's credit check. Oh, my God. Maybe I gotta, you should, but I, I don't do that. I got I'm an 825 FICO score, okay? Fuck you and your true fucking trip. He credit just check. checked, too. There's something wrong with him today. <laughs> I don't credit, credit check anybody. If I check your credit ass, and for the person who asked for a credit check, you're probably one of those people sitting in a slum right now. Oh, I need somebody with a Why good credit check. Why is that I'm telling you. I apologize. You. He has a fever right now. No, because people are like, oh, check their credit. Check your no, ass. No, they wanted to know if you check credit. I don't care about credit. That's not important to me. I really would rather know what you watch on TV and what you eat because honestly, to me, that's all I really care about. What? So you really are still going with like two for 20s at Chili's is your idea of a date? I didn't even need to. Oh, for bits for tits. Bits for tits. Bye. Thank you for the bits yeah, for son. tits, baby. Yeah, son. You were talking about. <laughs> I didn't even need two for 20 at Chili's. I just freaking just, you know, a little tenderness, baby. You know what I mean? A little romantic talk. And boom. But that's not part of the debate. It's going out or Netflix. That's right. Chili's. I went out to get my piece of... What is your idea of a date? Because all you have talked about is getting Chili's is underrated. <laughs> he goes to those Applebee's dollar Long Island iced tea dates too. That's coming up next week. Yeah, it is coming up. Right. I... <laughs> what happened to the freaking buffet? What happened to the times I used to take you to the buffet? People should check their ass. Yeah, check your ass, son. Ass. Better shave your ass too, bro. I'm checking out. <laughs> Why you I'm fucking better shape. So what are you saying about buffets? What about buffets? Like, are you Remember talking... when I used to take you to the buffet all the time? What buffet? CC's Pizza Buffet? No. Oh. One in Pennsylvania, when we used to go to Happy... What was it? Uh, happy Days? Oh, yeah. Happy Days. Yeah, you was that to... what it was called? Yeah, Says this to... is okay. Vito fan since 1999. Thank you very much. I've been making Vito face since about 2009. <laughs> and then they all say they and then they they all they all do it right people they all every single all picture right and then what happens they all become haters buffet golden corral thank you yeah it's, it's not go there you no we picture. we only went to the golden yeah. corral when we were on set one, for one a twice. movie yeah but you know what take a picture of fucking golden corral that bitch eat all night you should be happy oh my god I put soda through my nose <laughs> what <laughs> take all a picture golden corral Let's hope my tour this summer doesn't get canceled because of the virus. Yes. What? Talking about the virus. Nobody wants the virus. Guys. Vito has this. He doesn't have coronavirus. I don't have the coronavirus. He has like this nasty virus. I don't have the flu. I don't have a cold. 
It's like you get that, it's a virus that's going around that just makes you feel under the weather. It takes a little bit to get out of your system. I've, got, I've had it for a week and I've been fighting it. I've taken things, I've slept, I've, you know, I've lightened up on workouts. I've, you know, I can't do any more I'm doing. It's that's just, right. got, it's the, just v- the veto virus, I said. Motherfucking the veto virus. <laughs> I'm telling you, he is uh, he is wild today. He hates me because he dreams something about me. He's got a veto virus. He's going to take bitches to two for twenties for chilies, which. And you know what? And um, just a, just Lily a, Fox and I make veto take us to two for twenty. And you know what? And actually. you know what else, people? I'm going to say something I else. Red okay? Robin. <laughs> bitches used to take me for two for twenties. Okay. I never took you for a two for twenty. You. I take you to nice buffets like 1900 Park Fair in the Grand Floridian. You never took me to no cheap-ass buffets. I don't think I ever did take you to a cheap-ass buffet. The sushi buffet. Is that a cheap-ass buffet? I don't think I ever did. Favorite rock band? Which rock band is canceling a tour? I'm curious as to that. So the favorite rock band is canceling a tour. Yeah, no. Was it Fozzy? <laughs> You are out of control tonight. You love Chris Jericho. You love him. I do. <laughs> you, I don't want his tour to cancel. No, you know You like him. Although he never invites us on a cruise. But, you know, whatever. Um, so, Vito, that's all you have to say. Like, for me, I say you get to know him. You get to do a house check, make sure everything's clean. You get to see what they like on TV. Your thing is I can get asked for the two for 20. That's, that's right. And defense. besides that, you know what? I used to do my own Vito check. Okay. Oh my God, I'm not going to be able to show my mother this episode. <laughs> we won't talk about the veto check. No, go ahead, because you told them it already on that. No, 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 no. Listen, okay? Everybody has a preference. You have Netflix and chill when you stay at home and do your thing, or you'd like to take a lady out to dinner, treat her to a nice meal, treat her like a lady, open the door for her, buy a flower, you know, buy her one fucking expensive drink, and then you're good. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you go to Red Robin and Red Robin and, and, and buy the expensive wine, or buy the expensive shit. Just Tell the expensive wine story because Lily Fox isn't here right now, oh, but she just texted me. Actually, I <laughs> fucking bitch Billy Lily Ooh, Fox. Right? I'm telling you, that is my best friend that you are speaking of right now. It's one of my one of my girls, Lily Fox. Right? She is one of my girls. Well, there's a group of us. Her and Holly want to know what you want to do tomorrow night. By the way, that was the oh text. my god. They're trying to make you get better because they want you to go out. I'm just going to tell you right now, they want to go to Red Robin. And they want to go to Magic Kingdom Saturday. God forbid Vito ever gets sick. It's like death. We've left you alone for a week. Okay. What were you saying about your preferences, by the way? If ladies like to Netflix can show, I know that's the end thing. That's great. If a man is old-fashioned, has to take you out to dinner... Have a good meal, treat your lady, have a good time, socialize, dance if there's dancing. Hey, that's great cool too. So there's your there's your point of interest, okay? Do it the old fashioned way or you do it the new way. Okay? So people, you vote. You do it the BIG vote way or you do it the Noel Hollow way. You make the choice. Okay? Alright guys, if you would like to vote, you can vote on twitch.com. <laughs> at the Big Vito brand or at Magic Tea Spiller, or you can vote on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash the Big Vito brand. Vote either way. Do you want that fix and chill or you want to stay at home for, um, uh, or you want to go out on a date? Um, apparently, good food and a good time for Vito is Chili's two for 20. I want to stay home and order the best takeout food and watch the best shows on Netflix. You decide what you guys want to do. Hit us up uh, with the vote here. And um, Vito, let's tell the guys about how you can be a part of the Big Vito brand by subscribing to the right, Big Vito brand. The bottom button on the bottom. And yeah. if you're on the Realm Network, come to twitch.tv slash the Big Vito brand. Hit the subscribe button. If you're an Amazon Prime person, it's for free. If you subscribe to Russo, you should subscribe to us because we're just as cool. How come Vince never goes on our brand? He's on everybody else's all the time. We never ask him now, in, in all honesty. <laughs> but that's the debate. Is it Netflix and chill, or is it go to two for 20s? You guys decide. Put in your votes. You have one week so far this month. 
Noelle's one winner. Let's see how Vito comes out on the next week. Also, too, we still have not got Vito to eat ice cream for obvious purposes. You were supposed to eat an ice cream cake, but last weekend we were going to do it, and that was not happening. <laughs> Vito right. was one sick dude. So All that was right, guys. Awesome. The Big Vito brand signing off. Thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate it. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. And we will see Mega Powers. And we will see you guys next time on Mr. vs. Mrs.